what's going on everybody Quaku here back with another video today as of recording this specific video i also covered build 22572 on the dev channel for windows 11 um, on the insider preview channels and it brought a application in preview called microsoft defender uh, preview uh, and basically what I'm going to show you right here is the Android side of things because it's currently available on Android as well it has been available on iOS but I've seen that the reviews of it have been pretty terrible because of the amount of bugs and like battery drain issues on there so hopefully on Android those issues don't come up we won't find out in this video but if I do a long-term review for it um, I'll let you guys know you already know that I'll let you guys know if any issues pop up for me now I'm running this as you see on the screen on my Galaxy Z Fold 3 I'll show you guys how it looks in the tablet posture as well as the uh, bar phone posture I like to call it and then I also have the application up right here on my Windows 11 PC as well um, so I'm gonna try to do as much as I can on there just kind of clicking around and see how things work I don't know 100% how things work um, but we'll find out in just a little bit. So let me move this aside. So let's see. All right. So here it is. Here is Microsoft Defender. And it's uh, what I was having issues with earlier. You guys won't see it. But typing it in, it was type when I typed in Defender, it didn't want to show up uh, Microsoft Defender. It wanted to show up like the Land Rover Defender. So it was weird in the search terms. Uh, but it's here now. This is how it looks on the super skinny view of the Galaxy Z Fold 3. And this is how it looks on Windows 11 as well in fact i can kind of push this over so that you guys can see how it looks on uh, both screens there there we go so i can push it over and you guys can see how it looks on both sides i won't work in this side i'll look on the mainly the android side of things now if i go through and by the way i'm recording this via the your phone application on windows 11 and windows 10 uh, if i go through i've set it up the basic ones but i haven't set up all of my alerts so it says my device isn't protected uh, turn on web protection to keep it's safe from potential threats. So what it will do I, apparently is it will uh, scan everything you're doing on the web uh, to make sure there's no threats while you're browsing the web. So I'll turn it on for the purposes of this video. So you can see the, the amount of things that it needs to do. It's been scanning in the background. It's scanned 236 apps, but it's telling me that because web protection and security history is off, uh, there's gonna be some things going wrong. So let's look at web protection, check for harmful links. I'll turn it on navigating to permissions so it's going to go to my application my phone's permissions um i guess it's installed apps uh i don't even know where there's defender defender accessibility i will turn it on just for the purposes of the video uh you do not have to do this this is just i'm being the guinea pig for this one so now you see everything is active there's no threats there's no nothing so it's going to continue scanning the background. My battery life is currently 73%. So keep an eye on that battery life. I'm not going to make this video long, but so it won't really, it probably won't show an effect much. But I guess now if we go over to the Windows 11 side of things, uh, who's watching the doorbell, just disconnect that. Um, you can view all the devices, view that you have your, what devices you have attached to it. You can remove devices on the Windows 11 client of it or the Windows client of it. Tells you there are no updates, there's no nothing. Security says, he says you can change your settings in the Windows Security app. So let me go to Windows Security and it's gonna be off screen, but let me see. Nope, this is just for my PC. So this area is pretty much, is just for my PC. It's not for, as you can tell by the um, the icon here, it's for the PC, this device here. If I go to other devices, it shows my other devices. And then uh, that's about it in terms of what things are. And as, as things happen on the application, it will pop up notifications. Uh, drop down saying that there's a threat or something like that. So if I go to a sketchy website, like let's say I'm, let's say I go to 4chan or I go to some uh, bootleg movie site and see if things pop up. So I'm gonna go to a bootleg movie site. All right. So now I jumped into here. Now I'm on a bootleg movie site. Um, I just heard of this by Google searching free movies. Um, I'm gonna blur out the URL of it uh, so that way YouTube doesn't take down the video just because of this little portion. But as a test to see if Microsoft Defender will act on this. Uh, so they have Spider-Man No Way Home, the Batman, things like that. I'll click on Spider-Man No Way Home and let's see what happens if I hit play. Uh, is it doing anything? Is it gonna do anything? It says there's still no threats. This website is pretty clear then. Um, it looks like everything is still working. So if I hit play, will anything pop up? 
Okay, we got to pause it now because we don't want a uh, copyright for that because a uh, Disney Marvel movie can't do that. But it looks like nothing is popping up even for this one. It knows my phone knows what's playing, but there are no threats on this thing. And I'm not going to purposely go to a virus website. But in general, uh, I mean, I guess Microsoft Defender, it just wants to take over your entire phone and be interwoven into everything in your phone. I don't personally like that. I just like having the basic Google security i know some of you cybersecurity people out there will be like you got to get a good security thing for your phone and all your devices i don't like the idea of having to interweave like a major corporation into my phone uh it just feels weird to me just personally it just feels odd um so i guess the final thing what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go back to microsoft defender and i'm going to open it up in the tablet posture and see how it looks so this is the tablet posture. It's still very seamless in the tablet posture. Let me move the mouse out of the way. It's still very seamless in the tablet posture here, and it looks good still. You can still add devices if you want to. Uh, it says you'll keep them all safe. So these are different devices I have attached them of my old accounts on my Microsoft account. You can hear see device details here, see all the little things that you can do with it. Um, it will scan on its own, um, so there's nothing really you can do there uh it looks like it looks like that's about it oh yeah and then we have the um your account profile settings so if i go to settings here you can turn on notifications which will open settings you can turn on data privacy manage my data shake to send feedback so if i shake my phone really hard it'll send feedback you can see the about here it's good that microsoft has an about page so that you can do something with it however uh there's no way you can contact them even though they would never answer in the first place so that's a shame uh, and then you got your notifications in case something pops up for your phone. Those are the notifications that will pop up for your phone. And overall, you kind of have the same thing here um, where you have uh, settings here, but this one you have family sharing. So if you click family sharing, it will tell you to create a family group and so on. And essentially, your PC will be the hub of your uh, Microsoft security um, team, essentially. And whatever PC is is it will be the source of the main of everything, managing most of everything on there, it looks like. Uh, let's see what happens if I go to my profile. It's still the same thing as when I go to it on the iPhone or the Z Fold. It's the same things that pop up right there, as you can tell. Uh, it's just in a slightly different layout because a mobile-based layout. Three dots, like I said, goes to family sharing, privacy, and about. And about shows up like this. And overall, I guess it's pretty simple. It even resizes as well. It looks good even when I stretch it kind of off the screen here. Everything looks good legitimately. Everything literally looks good on this application. No pun intended, maybe. Um, would I recommend it? I don't know yet. This is a first look. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't like having things interwoven into my 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 devices too much if i have a security thing it's going to be a third party and not from a super corp that has everything that knows everything about me um, it just feels weird to me but it might not feel weird to you guys so i guess if you use this stuff uh let me know in the comment section below what you think about it have you been using the ios version because i heard terrible things about it the reviews are horrible it's like one and a half stars out of five it's horrible about battery life draining and a whole bunch of craziness let me know what you guys think about all that stuff tell me how you feel about it tell me the truth of how you feel about it is it good is it bad why do you recommend it why don't you recommend it i want to hear it all you know how this channel goes my name is kwaku i'll catch you guys in the next one take care everybody